there's no need to spend big bucks on great music making software if you're on Windows 10. There are several free options out there that don't suck and they deliver on features and on sound. So in this video, I'm going to look at five of the best free music making programs available to Windows 10 right now. Plus near the end, I have a couple of bonus options and some advice on selecting the right program for you. This video is sponsored by DistroKid. So if you create music, you're going to want to release your music and DistroKid will help you to easily get your music onto iTunes, Tidal, Spotify, all of the major online music stores, and they give you 100% of the royalties. More on that in a bit. I'm Zane, welcome to Audio Tech TV, where it's my goal to help you conquer the tech so you can unleash your creative beast. I've included links to, down in the description to all of the free music making software mentioned in this video. So first up on the list is Traction Waveform Free. This is an incredible free program that's completely unlimited. So they don't limit the number of tracks that you can have or anything like that. It's actually the exact same core program as the pro version. It just doesn't include some of the instruments and some of the more advanced features, but not having any of those doesn't limit your music making capabilities in this software. Traction waveform free allows you to have unlimited tracks, use MIDI, record audio, edit your audio, and it's very easy to use. I really like how they put everything on the single screen so you don't have to hop around between views to access anything. It's all laid out for you on that single screen, making your music making workflow extremely quick. You can also bring in third party VST plugins. And if you don't know what those are, they can be instruments or effects that other developers have created. So you aren't limited to using what comes stock with Traction Waveform Free, even though the effects and the instruments are decent, you're still going to want some variety and you can have that here. I'll link to a video down in the description with 50 free VST plugins, and you can see what's available to you for free. There's some great stuff out there. Now, Traction Waveform Free is a great starting point, and it can be the one that you stick with as it has some great pro features in it as well. So there's no need to move on to another DAW or DAW, and you may hear me use those terms, and what that stands for is Digital Audio Workstation. And that's typically what the music making software is referred to as. So this first option, Traction Waveform Free, should really be something that you give a try and see if it works for you and your workflow. Next up is another free DAW that isn't limited. This is SoundBridge. So you can have unlimited tracks and also add your third party VST plugins. And like I said, there's tons of great ones out there for both instruments and effects. And SoundBridge does include some decent effects and probably the best free drum machine plugin out there. Seriously, this thing can be great for so many different styles of music, not just electronic styles. It also includes several drum kits with it, so you can start making beats right away. The user interface of SoundBridge makes it very easy to start creating music from easy access to the piano roll, mixer, and recording features. This one is also available in 32-bit and 64-bit options. So if you're looking for a 32-bit DAW, SoundBridge might be the choice for you as there aren't too many 32-bit options out there right now. If you start creating music and you're feeling good about it, you're going to want to release your music. So why not get it in the same places where your favorite bands have their music, like Spotify, iTunes, Tidal, Amazon, all of the major online music stores. DistroKid makes this process super easy and they give you 100% of the royalties. Plus, they give you some unique features like claiming your verified artist badge on Spotify, and you can also get your official artist channel on YouTube. And this is all included for free with your annual membership, which is just $20 per year. And if you use the link down in the description, you're going to save 7% on that. So be sure to click on that and save yourself some money so you can start releasing your music and make money. And another big bonus of DistroKid is once you become a member, you're going to find that you're going to want to create more music so you can release more music as DistroKid allows you to release unlimited tracks per year, which is very nice. So for $20, you can release as much music as you like. And for free, you can get all of these great programs to create the music. Now let's look at some more of these great free DAW programs. The next one on the list is Cakewalk by BandLab. 
this is another unlimited digital audio workstation that is packed full of pro features. And that's because this used to be a premium paid for program, but BandLab purchased it from the Gibson Guitar Company and decided to make it available to musicians for free. And they continue to upgrade it and even add more features too. So you can have as many tracks as you like, both MIDI and audio, and it also comes with a lot of useful effects and even some decent instruments as well. The included guitar amp sim is very nice and it competes with some of the high priced options that are out there. So if you're a guitar player, this one will give you a great starting point along with a drum kit to program some drums and all of the effects that you might want. The interface can be a little clunky so the workflow isn't as smooth as some of the other options, but there are a lot of customization options that are built into Cakewalk so you can make it look the way that you want. And I've created several songs in this software and continue to use it and I haven't felt like I was limited in any way. All right, moving along, but hey, if you're enjoying this video so far, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps my channel out and I appreciate it so much. Now, the next free music making program on the list is LMMS. If you've heard of the popular software called FL Studio, this one is a lot like that in terms of the workflow. It's very easy to start making music in LMMS if you're using virtual instruments, but a big drawback is that LMMS does not allow you to record audio into it, so it may not be ideal if you plan on recording real-world instruments or vocals. However, you can record audio in another program and then bring it into it so you're not completely limited to virtual instruments. LMMS does come with some virtual instruments and effects plugins, but you're going to want to add some third-party ones to give you more variety. You can use your computer keyboard to control instruments if you don't have a MIDI keyboard yet, and of course you can use a MIDI controller if you do have one. Or the other option is to create and edit all of your MIDI in the piano roll by clicking with your mouse, which is a very popular way to do things in this program as you can do that very quickly. Now, some of the pros of LMMS are it's easy to sequence music, similar to FL Studio's workflow, and it allows you to use third-party plugins. The big con is the lack of audio recording within the program itself. Now the next piece of free music making software is Akai MPC Beats. This one gives you a workflow that's very similar to working on a hardware MPC, but with the added benefit that this is in the software world, so editing can be a little easier. If you have a MIDI controller with pads on it, this can be a great DAW for you as it integrates with pads very nicely. And you can see on the screen you have your pads here, but you can also create beats with your mouse just by drawing them into the piano roll or use your MIDI keyboard to play the notes in. MPC beats can be very easy to use, and if you want to record audio, you can do that too, but you only get two audio tracks per project. And speaking of tracks, you can only have eight instrument tracks in a project, so a total of 10 tracks, which is quite a few for beat creation. Once you get used to the workflow, it's very quick to start making music in MPC beats, and it includes some great kits and synths, but you can also bring in your own third-party VST instruments too. Plus, MPC Beats includes over 80 quality effects plugins, but just like instruments, you can also bring in your own VST effects. It's still fairly new and continues to get better with each update, and if you're a beat creator, this one should be on your list of free DAWs to check out. All right, so now let's look at those two bonus options, and I'll tell you why each one is a bonus, and the first one is Reaper. This one is not free, and that's why it's a bonus. But like the WinRAR program that you likely have on your computer, you can continue to use the demo of Reaper completely unlocked long after the trial period ends. And I think the trial period is like two months, so that's a huge length of time to try it. But after the trial, there's a screen that pops up for five seconds each time you start the program, and it just reminds you that the trial is over and you should purchase a license. And if you do end up sticking with this program, definitely support the developer so they can continue to upgrade the program to make it better for you. Now with Reaper, you get a very powerful digital audio workstation that really competes with the big names. So you have all of the features that you would expect, like unlimited tracks, third-party VST support, plus it comes with tons of effects as well and these are very useful effects that it comes with you don't get any instruments but like i said you can bring in third-party plugins so that's not really a problem 
I found Reaper to be an easy DAW to switch to from Pro Tools as the workflow was fairly similar. So if you're thinking of working with Pro Tools, you could learn on this and likely wouldn't get too lost when you're going into Pro Tools. Reaper is a great powerful option that's worth checking out. The next bonus option is Ardour. The reason why this one is a bonus again is because it's not free unless you compile the code for yourself. So technically it is a free program, but if you're like me and you don't like to compile software or even know how to do that, you can pay as little as $1 and you can get the full program. Ardour has no limitations, so you get unlimited tracks, buses, sends, inserts, or whatever, and it also has a pretty advanced routing system if that's something that you're in need of. It does come with a handful of plugins, but you can bring in your third-party VST plugins as well. The interface is similar to Pro Tools, but has its own Ardour twists. If you're looking for that familiar layout, editing, and mixing style, then you might want to give Ardour a try. Now here's a bit of advice to get you started. What I recommend doing is downloading two or three of these programs and give them a good try to see what workflow and user interface really works for you. So I recommend trying to create a beat in each one that you download or a part of a song if you're not a beat creator and really give it a good try to see what the program's all about. And then you should have an idea of which one you might want to stick with. And when you do find that program that you want to stick with, stay with it, try to learn as much of it as you can, and then you're eventually going to get to a point where you're just making music. You're not fiddling with the user interface or trying to figure out how to do something. You're just creating music and everything becomes instinctive. And you want to get to that point all of these programs are going to have a learning curve to them. So don't think that there's one that's easier than the other. They all have a learning curve. So try to get over that learning curve, stick with it, and then you're going to be rewarded as you'll start to create music and you're going to feel good about creating music, but you can also release that music like on DistroKid and start making money. So it's rewarding that way as well. Now, if you want to check out 25 free VST plugins, click up here or click down here to see what YouTube recommends. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Thank you so much for watching for Audio Tech TV. I'm Zane, keep creating, and we'll talk soon.